so in the previous part that is the first part of the lecture we have discussed various points and how big data big insight is helping us helping humans in a big way so let us understand how this big data and big insight help us in understanding the next point that is banking finance and trading so banking is everything which is related with your transactions of the bank finance means where you invest the money and trading is all the transactions you do with the money so with big data analytics the investment patterns of the people can be studied so with because of the big data how the people like to spend their money or how they invest their money or how they like to multiply their money all these things can be studied new insights have enabled the banks and finance companies to come with suitable plans big data has enabled smooth functioning of these agencies and institutions so with the help of big data or with the help of this information about the customers and their preferences companies come to know about how the company should work properly to fulfill the particular uh, customers needs banking and finance sector is using big data to predict and prevent cyber crimes card fraud detection archival of audit trails etc by analyzing the past data of their customers and the data on previous brute force attack banks can predict future attempts so there are number of things such as the cyber crimes so cyber crimes are basically those crimes which are committed using the internet for example hacking into somebody's account or so so card fraud detection so there are many a times that it happens that your card may be lost or your pin is lost or uh, people may call you over the phone and ask you for your pin details or your card details and so many types of frauds are uh, related with banking finance and trading so by analyzing the past data of the customers and data on previous brute force attacks banks can predict future attempts so brute force attack is actually attack which caused a release on guessing all possible combinations of a targeted password until the right one is found so this type of attack it was usually done on the banks where unfortunately over the internet some hackers use some kind of virus which could actually hack into your bank account uh, since your bank account is only uh, protected with a particular password which you you know but somehow this brute force attack could easily break into the password so such kind of problems may not occur again in the future so big data just helps big data not only helps in predicting cyber crimes but it also helps in handling issues related to missed transaction and failures in net banking so missed transaction is actually a particular new kind of term now since we are in 2020 and we are almost using all our transactions online because of the corona we are not able to do any cash related transactions everyone has come to the mobile uh, what is a cashless transaction system so there may happen that you are trying to uh, pay a particular person using your barcode scanner and suddenly your internet just goes off it's missing what do you do so most of us would actually panic because we don't know whether our transaction is complete or not because many a times this particular message comes on your phone that the transaction is completed okay and the amount is deducted from your balance but the transaction actually did not pass so the banks are always ready for such kind of failures and they have a kill safe switch where uh, some of the banks return the money whichever is been uh, used so in such kind of condition the big data plays a very important role it can even predict possible spikes on servers so that the banks can manage transactions accordingly so it can happen a many a times that uh, people may not uh, may get a complaint that they are not using their card they are not using their mobile phones but some kind of amount is deducted from the balance uh, or something happens so the banks is also prepared for such kind of mis transactions they accordingly can tell the particular customer about the every detail they could get the security exchange commission that is sec is using big data to monitor financial markets for possible illegal trades and suspicious activities the sec is using network analytics and natural sorry natural language processors to identify possible frauds in the financial markets so this sec is a particular commission which monitors the big data which is related with banking and finance 
so the work their work is actually providing their customers the full security that we require many a times this question arises in our mind that is cashless uh, generation cashless that without using the cash are we safe are, is our banking safe is our account safe but yes with the help of sec and big data it is possible so let us move on to the next one so such a things are happening so next is the high frequency trading that is hft so this particular term is used in the area where big data finds a lot of use today so this is actually those places where the uh, transaction or the frequency of information is the most where it is used the most here big data algorithms are used to make trading decisions so algorithm here is a particular formula a mathematical formula where the data analyzes itself so this is actually those places where trading takes place now trading is a different type of economy most of uh, you may not be knowing about this this is related to share market now today the majority of equity trading now takes place via data algorithms that is increasingly take into account signals from social media networks and news websites to make buy and sell decision in split of seconds now since uh, trading also has gone over the internet now this uh, the decision by the trader has to be taken b- between a fraction of seconds so how the big data is helping these traders because it just catches the signal from the various places such as social media networks and news and understand this particular trading so we will not go deep into it but understand this that big data helps in trading also next point is the sports when watching a cricket match we are shown many permutations and combination of statical analysis now this particular while we we are watching a particular cricket match there is a particular time where after a particular over there is a different shown of two both the teams how one team was performing at this particular overs now how this team is performing at this particular overs now how did this happen this happens because of the big data a gigantic data has been created over a period of time from the recording of matches training sessions and workouts the data enables a sports person to study his performance as well as the other players worldwide so this is what we are getting from big data because of big data not only a person or a sports person can prepare himself but he even he can prepare himself against his uh, what do you say toughest competitor it has tremendously helped in improving individual as well as team performance the sensors embedded in the sports equipment help us to understand our game from close quarters so in the olden times when the uh, these cricketers or the sports person used to uh, do some kind of practice they could do the practice directly on the field but now because of the big data and the technology they have close sensors in their equipment where they can uh, actually calculate their speed their strength their thinking power okay their planning their plotting everything could be calculated so thus big data helped in this also the sensors help us to understand the field condition the weather individual performance etc video analytics help us to see each and every performance minutely so because of video analytics means while seeing each player's video very correctly seeing their performances uh, in the previous matches or in the upcoming matches their practice sessions with this we can get a clear picture how a particular player can perform so next point is advertising so advertising is basically what what do you mean by advertising so basically advertising or to advertise means to announce or bring something to notice so advertisements are something uh, these things are done to bring some particular product or something to notice of the people so advertisers are one of the biggest players in big data advertisers are those people who run this advertisement for those particular products so these are a very big players in big data playing the part of information they have a important role be it facebook google twitter uh, i would like to mention instagram or any other online giant all keep a track of the users behavior and transactions so your data is not only been collected only through if you are using facebook twitter google whatsapp or instagram every online giant or say example you can say youtube or metcafe 
so these all uh, softwares or these all internet giants are somewhere tracking your behavior and your transactions means what are the things you search what are the things where you spend the money what interest you so all these things are uh, in the big data these internet giants provide a great deal of data about people to the advertisers so that they can run targeted campaigns so basically whatever people search over the internet is what people will get back so this advertisers get a what do you say precise and exact information about a person's preferences okay so for example i am a mobile enthusiast okay i am a techno enthusiast so if i am finding about information related with new mobiles or technologies or computers and so many things on google so Google or Facebook or Twitter or any other uh, online giant will collect data regarding my search and they will try to provide that same data to me that data will go to this advertisers and they will try to show me those kind of ads whenever i open any kind of online uh, a shopping site maybe Facebook maybe Google so take Facebook for example here you can target people based on buying intent website visits interest job roles demographics and what not so demographics is basically a statistical data relating to the given population and particular groups so demographics is actually a small statistical data a data related with people so what people search about what are people looking all these things all this data is collected by Facebook algorithms using big data analysis techniques the same goes for Google when you target people based on clicks you will get a different result and when you create a campaign for leads then you will get different results so basically whatever you are searching on the internet your likes may be different your dislikes may be uh, different but whatever you search will be something which will be used for by the advertisers for somewhere uh, for maybe making more sales or uh, just announcing a particular product so promoting that product and so on see all that is made possible using big data so whatever is available to you is possible because of the big data so next point is entertainment and media in the field of entertainment and media so how does your big data help in entertainment and media see in the field of entertainment and media big data focuses on targeting people with the right content at the right time so big data helps the what do you say the various sectors such as entertainment and media to provide the right information to the right people at the right time based on your past views and your behavior online you will be shown different recommendations so i know everybody uses uh, youtube or the facebook so have you noticed that if you, one particular person is searching for some particular data at a particular time and the next time uh, you do it you don't have to do any efforts say for example if i'm a tech enthusiast as i said earlier if i'm searching for the new mobiles if i'm going to search new mobile phones on google once today i will not have to again uh, do all the entire process on the next day because it my data will be recorded whatever time i spend on my phone searching about those particular devices or those particular phones will be recorded and it will next time they will try to show me recommendations which are related with my preference so this is how big data helps this technique is popularly used by netflix and youtube to increase engagement and drive more revenues so netflix and youtube are both ott online uh, platforms which uh, show uh, telecast different types of shows movies and there are different types of videos so netflix and youtube collects this data and it gives their uh, particular customers those things which drives them more. means more the people will be on these two sites or more the people will use the internet they will get exactly what they are searching for say that I'm a, i like sports also okay i'm searching about videos related with football or cricket okay so youtube will collect my data and next time when i'll go on youtube youtube will directly recommend me those videos which are related with football and uh, cricket so on and different things so such a big data helps these particular sites now even television broadcasters are looking to segment their viewers database and show different advertisement and show accordingly so if you have seen the entire process of televisions okay if you see uh, clearly each this data help this particular people in a uh, what is a large manner usually in the evenings there are our prime times daily soap type of shows in the mornings uh, there are cartoon shows for children 
then in the afternoon segment is for the news and so on so this big data just gave an information to the particular uh, broadcasting uh, what is say broadcasters that such uh, some particular shows are very uh, what do you say are watched by a lot of people during some specific time of the day so they will also show th those particular television shows at that particular time and advertisements also some kinds of ad advertisements are shown only in the daytime some are in the evening some are for the adults some are for the children some are for the old people so different types of advertisements try to show you different types of ads say for example that i am uh, you are on some particular television channel say ztv or sony tv you will uh, will you ever get a particular ad related with sports on that particular channel no they will try to showcase those particular advertisements on those particular channel which are the shows are related to maybe some clothing line maybe some jewelry line okay or household item such types of advertisements are going to be shown on those particular channels so where do you find the sports uh, advertisements you will find the sports advertisement on sports channel so accordingly to this big data helps these broadcasters to understand that people like will like to watch a particular ad related with this thing exactly at which place this allows better revenue from ads and will provide a more en engaging user experience so if uh, the broadcaster broadcasters exactly knew that where we have to show which type of advertisement on where which particular time which particular tv channel then their revenue will be increased because people will like to see those ads they will try their products next is education industry big data has inuited the education industry it has transformed it in leaps and bounds now we have information about students their study patterns and we can now prepare customized and dynamic learning programs according to the need of an individual student so big data has indicated the education industry so the next point is eight education industry so big data has inundated the education industry it has transformed it in leaps and bounds so with the help of big data the in education industry is changing now it is transforming itself and it is transforming in a very drastic way in a good manner and it is a lot of speed now we have information about the students their study patterns and we can now prepare customized and dynamic learning programs according to the need of an individual students so now we can understand each and every student why the student is lagging in a particular subject or what is his problem and because of this we can uh, produce or we can prepare such kind of dynamic learning program dynamic means such new platforms or new ways of teaching are being uh, what do you say made every student's comprehension level is different comprehension level here means understanding level a person or a child understands every student has his own understanding level some uh, will be very good in understanding it by uh, in sentences some are very good listeners some are very good uh, they have good memory some are good in analyzing some are good with logic some are good with the language so there are many different things the courses materials can now be designed catering to different requirement of the student so now we could prepare one exact instead of going following the simple old uh, what is the old school formula we can now prepare different types of uh, what's the courses which could which could help the students in the all-round process big data makes it convenient to understand their choices their difficulties information regarding various courses and their specialities we have also have an access to the results so with the help of big data now it is, has been possible for teachers or uh, educators to prepare such kind of informative courses where the children or the students can learn in a multiple ways not just following the old method but in many different ways and with this we can also have the access to the result so in the olden times when a particular child used to go to the particular student used to enroll himself in a school so if you wanted to understand his exact problem you, we had to wait for a year or maybe six months but because of the big data while the with the help of the new technologies and new insights in education industry we could understand the child's problem with the help of a short test taken online or maybe with some sort of uh, different types of exams so within a day or two we could understand the exact problem of that particular child and we could treat him because now treatment of those particular problems is also 
a necessity and it has become easy because of the big data. From the results, we can gauge the process of the students, understand his strength and weaknesses. So because of big data, because of this information, because of the online platform, everything has come. Now we can easily understand where a student can perform in uh, what you say high speed and where he is very weak. This is also help in guiding the student regarding the best career for him based on his mental makeup and abilities. So this will not only guide that particular uh, child to do something in his life or a particular student to become something in his life, but it will just give a uh, boost to his career. So in the olden times when the child used to fail in a particular exam, we used to say that you could not make anything of yourself. Well, I didn't say this to anybody till now, till date. but. Uh, now because of the big data a number of different types of career sources career options are made for the children so according to his mental makeup the way his brain is hardwired and because of his abilities he can choose a number of careers okay so what has big data done big ha big data has somehow manipulated the education industry and it is evol evolving so with the help of this big data depth study all of this would definitely give new insights into the education industry and help in improving the operational effectiveness and working of educational institute. So when you are talking about big data into educational industry, we are not giving only the students new opportunities but a field to the education industry. The operational effectiveness means the way the big data can affect a student in changing his career or and making him understand to choose the proper career or else uh, helping the particular student to choose the right career where he can utilize his abilities is thus very effective. This would in general enhance progress of all the students. Big data has provided a solution to one of the biggest pitfalls in the education industry. That is one size fit alls. So this oh, in the olden times uh, or in the ancient times we can say that the education was not different for different children. All the children what to say all the children would be actually admitted to a particular type of school where uh, that had become a pitfall means you cannot solve all the problems by the same means but because of big data now the problems of the student different strata of students and their problems can be solved differently and very effectively so this was the biggest pitfall in the education industry but now we have overcome it because of big data Finally, we have innumerable uses of big data. Innumerable means we cannot just count. There are number of uses of the big data. We have just studied a few of them. There are many more. It is helpful in scientific researches, understanding geographical phenomena, helping in smooth working of government machinery, etc. It is a genie in our hands. So big data is like a genie in our hands. It is just somehow it has innumerable uh, uses. It is going to be used in a number of things such as scientific researches, understanding geographical phenomena, means understanding what's happening to earth or what's happening in the surrounding, in the nature, helping in smooth working of the government machinery as well. As you know, everything in India is now going online. So now a time will come where everything, maximum of the government machinery of India will go to online. In the other countries, mostly it is online, but in India it is just starting. It is genie in our hands. So big data or this information or all online, everything which is going to come online is like a genie in our hands. It lies in our hands to make the optimum use of it for the benefit of mankind. So this particular genie, which says that I am at your service or I am at your command, will only do is that we can use the uh, benefit maximum benefit to the mankind so here we i take your leave here we finish the second lecture in the next lecture we shall be discussing the summary of this particular chapter thank you